Even though it is unknown when the hypersonic missile tests will take place or how many Su-57s will be used in the tests, this could be seen as a significant move forward for the Russian Air Force in its deployment of advanced weapons. Russia said at the end of last year that the first group of Sukhoi Su-57 fighters would be used at its flight test center in Aktubinsk to test hypersonic air-launched weapons. The Su-57 is a fifth-generation, single-seat, twin-engine, multi-role aircraft that combines the abilities of an attack plane and a fighter jet to fight and destroy a wide range of air, ground, and naval targets. At the end of November, the first Su-57 from a new production run arrived at the Aktubinsk facility. This facility will be used to evaluate cutting-edge hypersonic air-launched weapons. Last week, TASS cited a source in Russia's military industry. State media say that the Tactical Missiles Corporation is making a lot of new air-launched attack weapons. With plans to test hypersonic missiles, the Russian Air Force may be taking a big step toward using more advanced weapons. However, it is not clear when these tests will happen or how many Su-57s will be used. TASS says that the only planes in Russia that can fire Kinzhal hypersonic missiles are the MiG-31K fighters in the Southern Military District. Official media say that an air regiment in the Southern Military District got the first Su-57 made in a series this month. Four more of these fifth-generation fighters are expected to arrive in 2021. At the beginning of the month, it was also announced that the Russian military would be getting 72 Su-57 jets by the end of 2028. The Sukhoi Su-57 is a cutting-edge Russian fighter. In addition to its aerodynamic shape, its low radar and infrared signature is the result of cutting-edge technologies and the use of novel composite materials in its construction. This cutting-edge plane can achieve speeds faster than sound. In addition to its innovative design, the multi-role combat jet is equipped with cutting-edge radio electronics, such as a powerful onboard computer dubbed the Electronic Second Pilot, a radar system that covers its entire body, and various other improvements, most notably armament installed inside the fuselage. Each of the fifth-generation plane's two massive interior weapons bays is nearly as long as the plane itself, in a tandem configuration. Each compartment can hold up to four K-77-meter long-range radar-guided missiles. The K-77-meter missile is more advanced than its predecessor, the K-77, NATO reporting name, AA-12 Archer, thanks to its longer range, up to 100 miles, an active electronically scanned array radar seeker. Additionally, the aircraft carries two K-74M2 short-range infrared-guided missiles in underwing fairings. On January 29, 2010, the Su-57 made its maiden flight. <laughs>